Tank Squads is back and ready to run. Look, well, look at that. Would you look at that? Live series Jordan Alvarez is supercharged and it pops up the very second I'm doing the intro. I mean, we just, I mean, I'm just saying. Jordan's hitting stats are 125, 115, 125, 125. Yep, we're hiding them out there and left. Lineup's gonna be Ray Durham, Jordan, Albert Pujols, Prince Fielder, Francisco Alvarez, O'Neill Cruz, Nick Swisher, and Corbin Carroll. I know, guys, I haven't been uploading pack squads as much the last few weeks. I've updated you. I think it was two, ep two or three episodes ago I updated you guys. We had a little bit of an issue. Our guy, Tyler, was in the hurricane down in Florida, so you know, he usually helps out with the pack squad videos. We've been giving him a little bit of a break, so I haven't been uploading them as much, but we still have a few days until the new rank season ends. The new rank seasons will be ending on Monday. This squad you see on the field right now is plenty good enough to go on a World Series run. After this game, I will be grinding World Series. The World Series grind episode that will be up on Monday is gonna probably be the longest pack squads video of the year. So if you're excited for that, 1,000 likes on this video, and we're gonna get right back into the action. I will say as well, before we hop in, we have new packs ready to go. That's the new player of the month packs with diamond lefties. We haven't had the option for these in a while. We also have a fall stars pack. This is the greatest pack ever put in Diamond Dynasty. Period. Every single player here is a goon, and I'm going to get a couple more of these. Let me know down below who you think I should take from the Fall Stars pack. Even if we open one in this episode, I'm going to have another one for the next episode next season anyway. So let me know who you want to see. Pitching today's game is going to be the Parallel 4, Greg Maddox. And he's getting really, really close to Parallel 5. Is it 9,361? Depending on how things go in this episode, we can get a Parallel 5 today. Here we go. We're going to be the home squad. He's got AJ Burnett on the mound. He's leading off Griffey Jr. at the top of the lineup. Big game here for the guys. We're having a solid season. Need a couple more nice upgrades going into this World Series push. First pitch to Ken Griffey Jr. is going to be a sinker down and away. Trying to live on the corners here with Greg. That's not where we want to be. The pitch right there gets it 2-2 after two tough takes. I will go change up down below the knee here. Mix it up. Got him. Swings over top of that. There's our first pack of the episode. We're back. Show him the first curveball. Ninth pitch of the game from Greg here is a curveball that hangs way too much plate. Two down. Again, we start him with a changeup and went sinker first pitch and then change up first pitch back to back at bats. I've yet to get him the chase off the plate in with a lefty, which makes me nervous because I love to work work inside, get some bad swings on pitches in. Gonna continue to see if I can get in there and get some bad swings. We cannot two to one. Makes me nervous too, because I can dot that sinker on the inside half and hopefully he'll take that pitch the whole game. Ooh, swings over top of that one. Nope, he swings at it, but there's the broken bat we're looking at on the inside half, and we make the play. O'Neal Cruz throws across, three up, three down. We got one pack on a strike. Outlet's hit. Ray Durham, base knock. There's a single and a pack, first at bat of the game. You're done. Stay fair. <laughs> Absolutely crushed. It'll be 0 2. Change up misses. It's 1 2. You're done in the two hole here. Straighten the lineup on the supercharge. Oh, fight it off. Good stuff. We're lucky there. Tried to backdoor the curveball, but it'll be 2-2 from AJ Burnett. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hanging change up right out of the plate. I was so far out in front. So far out in front. Albert! We were not too far out in front of that one. Same exact pitch that we just whiffed on. Albert goes yard. A no doubt around the left field. Gets it over and beyond the bullpen. Makes it two zip right out of the gates. You love to see that. Now Prince Fielder steps in. Oh, just came right after Prince Fielder, huh? It's 2-2. Two -two. And he goes to the changeup. That one missed. Only almost had me. Ready to go now. Go back to the fastball. I was late. He did. Oh! Late side of good and a little bit underneath, but I got to tip my hat to him. He perfectly located that pitch. I knew I was getting it though, and twice that at bat, he challenged us with fastballs and I missed them. So we'll see more. Gotta be ready. Oh, good curveball. Got ahead of Alvarez 0 2. That was a good breaking ball. We swing over top. That'll do it for the inning. We had two on the home run from Pool Holes though, and a couple other balls I'd like back on the inning. Good start. Back foot slider here. It's 2 and 2 on Babe Ruth. I did get a bunch of swing and miss on the changeup last inning. Let's stick to that right here. We have one to waste. 
Pulls that one foul. I threw one curveball last inning and ended up hanging way out over the plate. Make sure we bury this since we're throwing it. Good pitch. I'll take that. It's 3-2. Now 3-2. I got to go after him. Can't put the first batter on up to backdoor cur or backdoor cutter and he fouls it off long at bat here from babe ruth might as well challenge him again worst case scenario solo shot we're still up ah, ah! nasty front door cutter right there it's o2 on jimmy fox back to back front door cutters just climb the ladder a little bit more a little bit more not quite one and two now we'll bury the curve ball bury the old curve no Oh, he just got a piece. It looked like a hanger. It was actually a pretty good pitch. Curveball's kind of undefeated right now, as long as it's not getting the plate. Good changeup. Got him. Another pack. Two down here in the second. George Brett. Oh, he's been taking that cutter in the whole game. I was just talking about getting swings on that pitch last inning. You love to see it. Three up, three down again. Get through there. O'Neal Cruz. Oh, he almost got the backhand snag. Not quite. Base hit. Nick Swisher! Turn on a baseball! No doubter! Crushed! Doubles the score. It is 4-0 in the second inning. Back with a vengeance! We took just a couple days off and we are on fire! Relentless! Go! Corbin Carroll in there now. Okay. Gotta be early. I mean, we were just early on the last swing. That's the pitch I wanted. I'm mad at myself for not going back to back. One down. Dude, oh, are we still gonna get there? It's still gonna be a knock, let's go. Greg Maddox with a hit, here comes the top of the order. Knock, Ray Durham with another base hit, back-to-back -back singles here with one out, we're cooking. Ray Durham's nasty, huh? You guys were talking about him. Chapman out of the bullpen, quick for Jordan. And we roll over a ground ball. Just don't turn two. He, oh, he hesitated to throw it and he turns two anyway. I don't know. It looked like a hanger out of his hand. Oh, well, damn it's done. We go to the third up four. Easy. O'Neal Cruz makes the first play of the third. Ground ball to shortstop. O'Neal Cruz again. He's getting a ton of play at short. Nasty. Another change up for a strikeout. Chapman contributes to the cause. Nine up, nine down for Greg Maddox and a four-run lead. Oh, he quick pitched, and again, he gets that fastball on a two-strike count right on the corner. Good pitch. 2-2 two -two on Alvarez now here with two outs. Chapman looking for his second inning of work. Lights that off. Good pitch. Trying to freeze us. Take. Oh, boo. I mean, my check swings in the It's just at the end of the green. Weak. Ground ball to shortstop. O'Neal Cruz will scoop and toss. One out. O'Neal Cruz snags another one. Soft liner to shortstop. Guy is a magnet right now. Now Chipper Jones steps in. 40 pitches for Greg Maddox. There's two outs in the fourth. And he's starting to swing inside inner half a little bit more, which is going to open up my repertoire a bit. We are in the middle of the second trip through this lineup. That's a hanger. Should have been a nuclear bomb. Instead, we're going to have a chance to put him away here in the fourth. 0-2 changeup off the plate. Beautiful pitch, Greg Maddox. Exactly what we wanted. Now we'll go elevated slider here. Belt high in off the plate. Just gross. Just flat out gross. Ray Durham will squeeze. We're through four clean. Maybe? No, not quite. First pit slider off the end of the bat will fly out to left. I almost got it. We were lined up good. Timing was solid. It was just a little off the end of the bat. Now Alvarez, first pit swing, and I was looking for that sinker on the outside half. Base knock, our first off of Chapman, who's recorded five outs on 18 pitches. He's about to throw his 20th of the ball game here. That's not good. Get down. Pitcher spot's going to come up here with two outs in that runner on first. Greg Maddox, we're keeping him in the game for sure. He's one for one with a big lead and pushing parallel five. Let's see if we can't get a second hit. Oh, my gosh. Not No shot on that. Oh, Maddox just got a piece of that. I'll see another one. Oh, I thought I got a piece of that one, too. Not quite. We strand one. Let's keep pitching. Swings over that slider. It'll be 0-2 on Babe Ruth the change up now again good take he's starting to take the change up but he's swinging more in on the cutter see if we can get another bad swing on the cutter 
There it is. That time he fouled it back, though. Babe Ruth gets a ridiculous amount of foul balls. He's, like, impossible to get out. Takes that cutter. We climbed the ladder a little bit, huh, Greg? Not quite. He went heavy. Oh, full count. Again, just like last time, I'm not going to walk him for free. Go backdoor cutter. He goes yard. First hit of the ball game is a Babe Ruth bomba. Four to one. 98 off the bat there for Babe Ruth. And here comes Jimmy Fox. I'd rather that than a walk, to be honest. Hopefully uh, there we can just move right on, act like it didn't happen, get through this inning clean. Sometimes a leadoff walk can be a full-blown rally starter. Enough that right out. 1-1. One, one. Way too much play. Back-to-back -back base hits now, and there's the rally. Nice sinker. O'Neill Cruz, 6-4-3 double play. Snuff it right out. Good curveball. Oh, they said he held up. 2-1 on Hank. Pull this sinker foul. That's too much plate, sir, but thankfully he doesn't do it. Stays in the ballpark, he gets one. And then we face the minimum afterwards. Let's get it back. I don't think we pitched enough with Greg Maddox to get that parallel five done in this video. So unfortunately, Greg Maddox is at 9,919, brother. All I needed from you was to let me play one more inning with Greg. He's going to go parallel five during the World Series grind. Seriously, the finale episode for this season is about to be bonkers. We had 11 total bases. We scored four runs, two homers, and we had four strikeouts with Greg Maddox. That is 21 basic packs. We get two diamond premium packs, one for the win and one for the rage quit. And we get to double our packs because of the rage quit, which gives us 42 basics and two premium packs. First things first, between these 11 balling as a habit, two balling out of controls, and all of these loose headliner packs, I have 29. So let's rip through those. It'll leave us with 13 standard packs, but let's open these, see if we get anything crazy out of them, um, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with those other 13 standard packs. We get a silver or better guarantee um, out of these. We are looking... Uh, for Ronald Acuna's live series diamond, we're looking for Garrett Cole. We're looking for Alec Manoa. Um, only a handful of collections left to complete. And we will be looking into those big dogs, the division and league collections for the back half of the year here. Set 26 headliner. Two of these for Curtis Granderson. Don't really care too much for the feature this time of year. Kind of just looking to pull the certain live series cards we need to wrap up these collections. The program packs and player of the month packs are nasty right now. I can't wait to get into them at the end of the episode. This purple diamond is a guardian. I was hoping to see the Braves hold Ronald Acuna twice on the main account this week. I'm hoping he's flooding packs. Andres Jimenez live series. Now we got two of the set 40 headliner packs. Pack one at Ian Hat pack number two. Oh, Domingo Herman, that's not it. Jason Giambi was set 43. I would very much use Jason Giambi. Okay, guess not. Set 44, Mark Pryor. Mark Pryor? Oh, I sell Iglesias. J.R. Ritchie is set 47. Salvador Perez, Matt Chapman. Set 49 is Jim Edmonds. And then set 50 is the Barry Larkin. There's Adam Duvall. And then Barry Larkey is the Larkin. <laughs> Barry Larkey. Barry Larkin. Not there. So we have two balling out of control. 11 balling is a habit. So we will open all of these and then we will have 13 standards left to rip when we are done. Nine more. There's at least one gold player. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Supercharged. Not sure how long he's supercharged, um, but we'll definitely use him if he's supercharged for this World Series push that I'm about to do tonight and tomorrow. Nathan Avaldi, Robbie Ray. Six more of these balling is a habit packs. Nick Castellanos, also supercharged. I got to take advantage of those supercharged cards during this World Series push. Diamond Live Series. It's a purple. Purple Met. Whoa, we just got stubs here. We just got stubs here. Max Scherzer. 90 overall jersey. I'll take that all day long. Three more balling out, uh, balling as a habit packs. We got another diamond. This one is a gold 99 overall. Show me Ernie Banks. Show me Ernie Banks. It's Mark Pryor. 
I mean, I'll take the arm all day long. We'll take the arm all day long right there. I thought it was Ernie Banks though. Dude, Mark Pryor gonna go in the rotation for parallel for Sandy. And now we have a full and complete rotation. Four more ball in packs. Double gold there. One more ball and out uh ball is a habit. Not there. Two balling out of control now. Packs are crazy hot. Nick Anderson, DJ LeMayhew. Last but not least. Teal. Braves, 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 Braves. Race. Acuna, Ronald, 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 Ronald. It's Austin Riley again. What are you doing? Get out of my packs, man. Blasphemous. All right, we have 13 more packs to open. I'm just going to open 13 standards. It'll leave me with 190 standard packs. All right, so nothing there out of the standards. Look at how many diamond choice packs your boy, <laughs> your boy has unlocked, man. This is actually wild. We have so many options here. It's ridiculous how many packs we have. These legend packs are nuts. Like, what do we want to upgrade? We can do two right now. So many freaking options. The first thing I'm going to do is open up this 98 overall monthly award pack for September. And we are going to upgrade our Jose Alvarado um, from the division reward Jose Alvarado Tampa Bay race collection to the 98 diamond because this card is just so much better. It's ridiculous. Max down hits per nine. Crazy control on his pitches gotta have this card i've been waiting for a goon lefty diamond in one of these free packs and now pack number two is going to be an easy one now remember i'm probably going to be ripping through and upgrading um lots of the team with all of these choice packs and legends of the franchise packs um through the world series push but for the end of this episode we're going to go fall stars bosses pack and we are going to take the best available player in this pack the question is who is that player i gotta take the max out hitting stats for pack squads one thing we we just we always need in our lineup is a absolute end game god squad goon hitter 125 125 125 125 on babe ruth we can use him and prince fielder or we can put him on first we can use both for now until we get another outfielder i would like to upgrade on um, the outfield a little bit more moving forward but right now all stars program pack number one i gotta take the bambino I just gotta do it. Now, your Don just went supercharged during this video, which means he still has four entire days on his supercharge. I'm gonna be able to use this supercharge, your Don Alvarez, for the entirety of this World Series push. That's amazing. The question for me right now is do I wanna use Nick Swisher out in right field and have that diamond defense? Just go ahead and uh, throw Babe Ruth on first base, put Prince Fielder on the bench, or do we put Babe Ruth out in his primary for now? put Prince Fielder on first and use your Don as a pinch hitter. I'm thinking heavily about upgrading Corbin Carroll to the Ken Griffey Jr. out of that Fall Stars pack. I'm also thinking about maybe going Joe Maurer in over Francisco Alvarez down there behind the plate as well. That's an option, but I also kind of maybe want to think about keeping the Randy Johnson killer Francisco Alvarez back there. I don't know. We have so many options right now and we have five goons in our rotation. I feel good about where we're at. Again, if you're excited for the finale, the end of season seven, I know this was a shorter season. I apologize. The finale episode is going to be long. It's going to be detailed. We're going to have a ton of packs, a lot of wins, and we are making World Series. Be on the lookout for that video. I'll see you guys then. Use code Shelfy at checkout for 20 bucks off your tickets. I know baseball season's over. Football, basketball, hockey, concerts, Seat Geek, code Shelfy. Kind of clears the fees off for you. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Take advantage of that code. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Also, if you didn't know, you can sign up today to become a member here on the Shelfie channel. Just hit that join button down below. There's also a link in the top of the description box that you can click on. If you sign up to become a member, you will get access to Pack Squads early. That's right. The day that Pack Squad goes up, you will have access to the video first thing in the morning, all day long before everyone else and before it's released to the public. You will also have access to the emojis that we have in our chat on the occasional live stream here on the main channel. Again, link to that information is in the top of the description box down below if you want to sign up. It's just a couple bucks a month. I'll see you on that next video. I'm out. Peace.